What's up, you guys? There's a message coming through. It's like somebody's really angry. Like, yeah, like somebody's really, really angry. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody's very angry. It's like somebody's angry because they're waiting for some sort of karma to manifest, but it's also like somebody is that same person that's waiting for the karma to manifest is also witnessing what happened. But it's something about the human that spirit needs to open this up to the human and it needs to allow this human to witness whatever happened or whatever whatever somebody's or somebody is man or somebody is observing witnessing something that has been happening on the astral plane but has but something that happened like ties soul ties in the astral plane of something that manifested on the physical Okay. Um, and it's like somebody I think knows that they are doing this and, or somebody is like, maybe somebody's also like wondering why they keep getting triggered and angry about a certain situation. And it's like, this is actually your, I'm hearing your spirit team, like accessing your memories to witness it. It's like, look, Okay. Queen of Wands, too. Yeah, so it's like, see, it's like with the Nine of, um, with the Nine of Wands, it's like there's a bandage over this dude, you know, dude, check the cards are not gender specific, but like over this dude's third eye. So it's like, I feel like somebody is, yeah, like somebody's going through like, like cycles of like psychic. Uh, and not not like psychic check-ins, but like cycles of like, there's some sort of um, like justice, or there's it's like you're it's like you're part of a jury, and spirit keeps tapping into your mind to extract information about this situation. And, and there's also a very important message with regards to like. Karma is very patient. So like if, if, if the karma isn't manifested or if the karma doesn't have an opportunity to manifest itself in this lifetime, then it'll be next lifetime. And I, as I'm seeing, I just heard, and it'll be harder. What, what's the message, please, ancestors of the highest white light? I feel like you're healing right now. So you're probably going in, so it's probably like as, okay, okay, with the star card, it's very important for you to heal and to not stay in these cycles of uh, witnessing. Like you're receiving downloads with with from your ancestors and or you you are just simply witnessing what's going on in, on the on the astral plane and what's going on in the higher dimensions because um, you are tapped into that. For sure, but there's, um, what is the message, please? Spirit, ancestors, advice, white light. Okay, yeah, it's very important for you to continue healing in between these cycles because that's also helping you to, um, it's like I'm seeing, I don't know, get the two of ones here, but it's like I'm seeing, it's like, it's almost like there's somebody's guides are like, right here they're like okay we're gonna we're gonna tap back into this this person this human's you know mind and we're gonna draw this information out or or whatever or we're going to deposit information with regards to the situation so that the human knows exactly why they did what they did so maybe you were on some sort of like a soul journey with your guides knowingly or unknowingly but it's something about like when your guides connect with you and when you receive these messages and and it does make somebody very angry and you might not know at the at, at the time that you are so very angry, it might even just be showing outwardly and or, but anyways, it, that's a different message. So just be very self-aware or try to continue to be self-aware, but whoever you are, I feel like you are self-aware, but it's like, I'm seeing somebody and then they're getting very angry and it's like, I'm actually, now I'm seeing somebody like getting very angry and like isolating. So it's, it'd be very good for whoever this person is to go out and get some exercise, maybe do some running, 
yoga, make sure that you're, you're, uh, yeah, yoga, making, making sure that you're calming the nervous system. Um, cannabis helps too. Okay. Just, you know, take what resonates, whatever you think is good for you and what will work for you. But, um, cleansing baths also, it's like, but it's like you're, it, when you, whenever you receive these downloads, it, the emotions are very heavy with it and it does lower somebody's frequency a little bit. And it's like, and it's very important that this person does not get caught in this lower frequency because the sad, this is actually really sad. It sounds sad. It's because spirit needs you to like raise your frequency back up again so that you can heal from it so that they can give you more information with regards to the situation, whatever the situation is. And it's very important for somebody to witness this, whatever it is. This could be taking weeks. This could be taking months. This could be taking years. This could have, this could be going on for like your entire life too. Like I'm hearing actually. So, but just take what resonates you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. And is there anything else? What else, Spirit? Ancestor life, life, life. Ten of Cups. I don't see anything wrong there. Yeah. Six of Wands. Alright, I think I'm going to leave the message there. I think that was pretty specific and I'm just going to leave it there. So, I hope you are all doing really, really amazing. Thanks so much for being here. Um... Yeah. Love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Until next time. Bye.